Hello, I'm, S I'm Sandro. Uh, I'm from Chicago and I'm here at Head On. Uh, really enjoying Sydney and this great, great, great photo festival you guys have here. Well, the inspiration with Malkovich, 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 homage to the masters, really came uh, out of, first, you know, it, it, it started from a little bit of an illness that I had. I had a, uh, a stage four cancer and it was a, it was a battle uh, for my life. And um, I had to really, really rethink about my career and what I wanted to do if I was going to be able to get out there and shoot again. And I had already had somewhat of a glorious career. And I kind of wanted to say thank you to the people that have helped me so much in my career. These great, great, great photographers who had inspired me um, to, you know, think of portraiture in a different way. How powerful that single image is of a person. Uh, in my home, I have a collection of about 800 books, which I call my education. And inside of these books were shots that throughout my career, I would come across periodically and they would always stop me. You know, they would make me think about how powerful that portrait is, how strong it is, how that one picture is telling such a great story of that person. And so it, you know, became, you know, a thought that maybe I would say thank you to these great, great, great photographers and pay homage to them by recreating their most iconic image, the most iconic, iconic image that Irving Penn ever took, the most iconic image that uh, um, Annie Leibovitz took or Halsman or Albert Watson took. We, I would research to find the, the most iconic image or the shot that moved me the most and uh, we then came up with uh, about 40 shots that really were the images that moved me tremendously through my career and I decided to recreate them. Uh, I jumped on an airplane, went to the south of France to John Malkovich's home and you know, showed John my idea and see if I could get him to hop on board with me and he agreed and we were off and I had about a year, year and a half of uh, time to research uh, every single shot because I really felt it was necessary for me to absolutely perfectly execute these shots. It couldn't have been done mediocre. I think it would have been left out of the community. Um, I needed people to understand and I needed to feel what these photographers went through when they shot these original shots. Uh, and I wanted the Photographic Society to really, through these photographs, understood that there was a lot of work that went into producing this, uh, this project.